Hello, fashion lovers. Welcome to Custom Venture once again. To all our subscribers, I want to say big thank you for always being there. And if today is your first time of visiting, coming across my video, I want to say you're not you've not made mistake. It's divine. So you're welcome. Do me something good. Click on the like button. Share my videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And as we do that, God bless you. I appreciate you. You are wonderful people. So today I will be putting up a tutorial on how to call the simplest knicker you can ever think about. You can call it shorts. Very simple, straightforward. It can be done under three, four minutes. Let's go. Okay, I'll be working with the length. You know, my cloth is on fold. I'm going to cut the two sides of the shot together because it's so simple. You can always have it done easily. Okay, so I'll be working with the leg. My cloth is on fold already. And now do you fold your cloth? You fold your cloth with the highest measurement of part of the cutting you are doing or the sewing you are doing. Since I'm working on this shot and the tie, which is the largest side of it, I'm going to work with a uh, 30 you know so that is on fold already so i have about 16 on fold there and then then i'll be working with the length 24 with the sewing allowance okay because it's going to have elastic the waist is with it's a free waist okay notwithstanding you should see have the idea of the waist of the person and then if you have the waist of the person, just a hard about four inches to it, so that the elastic we actually give the, the shape as you want. So I will be working with the length 24, 22 plus sewing allowance. I have 24 here. Okay. I have 24. I make it 25 because of the sewing allowance underneath too. So, so my 25. Okay. Okay, so I rolled my 25 inches length. Okay, and then I'll be working with the the cross legs, the cross steps to be 10. You know, I've already added 12, I've already added 2 inches for allowance here. So I'll make my cross to be 12 here. 12. And then the tie is there. 15 plus when allowance i have uh, 16 already here so the tie is here okay and then the waist the waist is uh so the waist is about 42 42 divided by a four we have about 10 plus 10.5 add three to it that is 13.5 okay so and then you know this is where my cross depth is This is the cross steps. Okay. The connect is for beer. And then give it a cough. And then the round sleeve of the tie is make it 12. Connect them together. Cut them out. Put the two together. Simple, cut it. You don't need to stitch the circles. So, what do I do? Join this together, join this together, join the middle, put my rubber case there, and lo and behold, your shorts is ready. Simple. Let's go to the machine. Thanks. Don't forget to give us thumbs up. 
and keep liking keep sharing god bless you Wow, the, the shorts have been stitched together. The two sides have been stitched together. Okay. And then the, in my next stitching, I will teach us how to input pocket. Look at it. There are two types of pockets I put. Okay, look at it. This one was stitched on it. No extra clothing. The, the other one, I have another design of pockets okay see it is in built pockets okay i'll teach us in the second part of the, the tutorial thank you god bless you don't forget to give us thumbs up and then keep commenting constructive comments and then subscribe to our channel if you are here to subscribe god bless you Let's do it together. Let's go together. Bye.